Hey everybody, Sean here from Board Paracord and Paracord.com. Today I'm going to do a pretty easy thing. Um, as you can see right here, I've already uh, done one. This is a, just a, a plain old zipper pull. Um, I've had this backpack probably whew, 15 years. And for some reason, this zipper pull, just like this one, was never on here. Or at least I can't remember when it was. So what we're going to do today is we're going to uh, basically swap out these zipper pulls so they all match. There's some, I don't know if you can see it, there's some like goldenrod color stitching over here. So I'm going to match those up. That's why I did this one goldenrod. And then we're going to do the same thing with this one. Um, so the first thing you want to do, let me move that up just a little bit so you can see what we're doing here. Focus this up just a bit. There we go. Okay. So the first thing I want to do, I've got some scrap here. This one, the first one I did, I used about eight inches of paracord. I like my zipper pulls to be a little longer so I can get a good grip on them. So they're gonna end up being a little longer than this one here. Um, now I don't have my tape measure, so we're just gonna kind of guess at this. So uh, we're just gonna go right there. I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna pull out the inner strands. So that's one thing you want to do. This might be kind of bright. Hold on, I'm going to adjust my lighting here real fast. Sorry about this. Because we're a little too bright. There we go. I think that's a little better. And let me... Oh, wow, I'm sorry. Okay. So, I'm going to pull out the inner strands. They just get in the way anyway of the zipper pull. Um, now the first thing I want to do is take these ends here. There we go. We're going to melt the ends just a little bit, just like that. Real easy to do. Having some issues trying to get this to focus. There we go. I think we're good now. All right. Man, sorry about that. So I need to cut this one off. Just grab some good scissors if, if this is what you're doing. Now the, the thing with this is these have rings on here. If they don't have rings, you can get the paracord to go through that hole right there. And it would basically just be a loop. You would just go through that hole just like that. And this, these two ends would come off to your zipper, you know, your zipper pull, this little plastic piece here. These are what I'm putting on the end, just like this one. Gives us a finished look. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is cut your ends, singe them, create a loop, that loop is going to go through this ring. Once you get that loop through the ring, you just take your two ends and you pass them down through that loop. So it's going to look something like that. And you'll have what's called a cow's hitch knot, or just cow's hitch, um, on, your, uh, on your ring there. Now the thing you want to look for is if this is going to be hanging down, like this one, when it's on your back, these will be hanging this way. You want this piece to be over top. It has a cleaner look than if it's this way. This way you can see some of the ring through there. So just make sure that uh, if, it, if they're going to be hanging this way, you put your loop through that way. Once you have that, all you're going to do is you're going to kind of situate this the way that it would be like hanging down on your, on your back. Put both of these in here in the smaller side. There's two sides. There's a small side and a big side. You want to put these in the small side because these are the ones when it closes, you know that it's going to be inside of the bigger one. See what happens if you put it in the big side and then you close the small side onto it, you end up getting your paracord stuck in between the two and like these walls here. So we're just going to close that and you'll hear like a snapping sound when they're closed on there. And that's really all there is to it. If you get one side that's a little longer, like this one's a little bit longer, it'll work itself out eventually. Or you can just, you know, feed it back through this knot and make them even. That's really all there is to it. I'm gonna grab another zipper over here and do one more, just so, you, just so I know you guys got it. Most of you guys are pretty good with this sort of thing. So this is easy. 
easy one today. I've got another bracelet in mind for my next video. It's going to be a little tougher, but still pretty good. Pretty easy. All right, so we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to guess roughly. Let's go with this end since this one's not burned yet. All right, there we go. So we're going to guess about that long. About, I would say anywhere between seven and eight inches is good length for these. And this is a great way to use up your scraps. And these zipper pull, these plastic pieces, I think it's like $2 for five of them. And the more you buy, the, big, the, big, the better the price individually they become. Um, I, <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've used these zipper pulls. They're great. So pull the inside out. You're really just kind of melting the ends so that they don't, they don't fray. And it, it also gives something for the little gripper things inside of the zipper pull something to hold on to. All right, so here we are. So you wanna take your loop, loop right here, that's your center point. Go down, so if it's, like I said, if it's gonna hang this way on the, on the backpack, you wanna put your loop through the, the ring the same way. Take your two ends, and tuck them down through that loop. And make, this is a good spot where you can put your ends together so that they're the same length and grab them and pull them. That way they're equal. And just kind of tighten that right up on the ring. Small side, get that tucked in there and close it. And you'll hear it click. And you can look down in there, see those little things on the side, little hooks. You know that those are good when they don't go any further. You'll hear the click though. Um, uh, what was the, there was something else I wanted to mention. Oh, don't, don't use regular, I mean, make sure you take out the inner strands of the cord. Otherwise, this will not close very easily. And if it does close, it'll pop open. I've had that happen a few times because I didn't gut the cord. You shouldn't have to worry about it. That's going to stay in there. I'm pulling pretty hard right now. It's going to stay in there just fine. But there's two of them. I've got two more to do. But as far as the video goes, I think we're all set. Um, so... Hopefully that helped, helped a lot, out a lot of people get, get rid of their, their scraps. Um, join us on Facebook, facebook.com slash groups slash paracord on. Show off your work, get inspired by others, and just discuss paracord. That's all we do. There's over 20,000 members, and it's a really great group. Um, these uh, zipper pulls, you can get them on boardparacord.com. Like I said, it's like $2 for five of them. And uh, until next time, paracord on.